I'm Emma, this is Emma Rose and Books, and I'm doing the Dogs and Books tag. So, <laughs> she doesn't want to stay with me <laughs> right now, so I'm having to um, give some incentive. Are you going to stay? So the, the Dogs and Books tag is basically the same as the Cats and Books tag, um, but about dogs. Um, so I'll post the original below, I can't remember who did it, but stay. Um, but the first question is, tell us about your dog. Well, this is my dog. And uh, her name is Dolly. She's probably going to leave now. I've run out of biscuits. That was poor planning. Um, Dolly is a boxer crossed with a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So she looks like a Staffy, but she's quite tall. Um, you can't really see that so well. It's very difficult for me to get her and me in shot. Maybe if I put the camera a bit further away, actually. Stay. Let's do that. Yeah, that might work. Come in. Come in. Come in. Uh, you still can't really see. I'll put a picture in so you can see kind of how how she looks when she's not just like facing away from the camera because she doesn't understand that she's got to look at the camera. Um, Dolly is about six. Um, we've had her since she was a puppy, since she was six months old. Um, we got her from a, uh, a rehoming for a rescue place. Um, basically, we, uh, my husband and I have both grown up with dogs and uh, I had a, I grew up with a border collie called Jade um, and my husband grew up with a, um, a boxer, Staffy Cross, who was called Tara. And we, when we were first together, we didn't have a dog, you know, it's, it's quite a big commitment to have one. And a few things happened where we did, we almost got dogs. So one of those was when we, um, what was that? You don't want to say? One of those was um, we, we actually found some strays and we nearly rehomed them, but um, their owners found them. So there have been instances in which we were going to get a dog, and so we decided to take the plunge and go and, um, and rehome one. So it was quite challenging because at the time, my eldest, my son, he was um, probably about two, and I was pregnant with my daughter. So a lot of places won't rehome if you have kids or you're going to have kids. Um, and but this one particular place I found who were willing to let us have a puppy because she was trainable. And they had two puppies. They had one that was a, a German Shepherd and then they had this one. And because we'd had Boxer Staffy Cross, well, my husband had a Boxer Staffy Cross, I knew her. Um, they, you know, we were familiar with the breed. And you see, Staffies are super, super loyal, very trainable, um, obviously have a bit of a bad reputation. Um, boxers are very excitable um, so particularly as a puppy she was she was quite naughty very very over excitable you know I mean even now if people come over she's a bit much because she is quite big um, and because she's a little bit mean looking to some people she has like a, a bit of a pit bullish kind of look about her um, and she gets really over excited people don't necessarily want that do they what's that do you want to go um, so you know she can be a bit much the thing with dolly is that there is not a bad bone in her body she's not nasty she's not i've never seen her you know go for anything anybody any anything she she's very very loving it's just quite an aggressive kind of love <laughs> because she's just a bit much um she's very chilled out right now but you know when when she's on one it's like whoa that's too much dog so um yeah Shall I let you go? Yeah. I've closed the door so that she has to stay in here. And I know. And that you don't want to, do you? You want to go and lie in the sun? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. You see, this is what I mean. She's a big doggy with a lot of love to give. So she's very beautiful. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, come on. I'll let you go. Anyway, so I may as well stay down here, I suppose. Um, you can see the bottom of my bookcase, how exciting. So Dolly, Dolly is a pretty chilled out dog. Um, I actually don't see very much of her because she's just chilling out doing her own thing. She's really amazing with the kids. She's very tolerant of them, although obviously we watch, you know, their interactions with her. I think she may have been mistreated when she was a puppy because she does get a bit cringy. You know, she doesn't seem to like it when when it gets loud or aggressive and she'll go off. So I think it's important she has that space and that the kids respect that. Um, but yeah, she's brilliant with them. She's very gentle with them. Um, 
the you know the baby can give her biscuits and she'll take them really gently out of her hand. She, it's like she knows they're puppies. She's just um, she's got a really really loving nature. She's just sometimes a bit mad and a bit much. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know she's she's a lovely girl. We love her very much. She's part of our family. Um, so the second question: recommend a book that features, includes, or mentions a dog. Um, I'm going to recommend a book that I think is really, really good, um, which is The Art of Racing in the Rain. This is told from the standpoint of a dog, and it's really cleverly done in thinking about how the dog would perceive things, um, and it's about um, a family where things start to go badly, basically. I really, really enjoyed it, and yeah, I love the fact it's told from the standpoint of the dog, uh, uh, books that try and do that uh, are quite cool. You see, this is another good thing about Meg, if anyone saw my review of Meg, is that parts of it are told from the standpoint of the shark. That's cool. Uh, number three, what's your favourite fictional dog? This was hard to pick because there are so many. Um, but I decided to go with Gromit from Wallace and Gromit purely because I really love Gromit's like silent judgement because Gromit doesn't speak in it and just the facial expressions of the things that Wallace does. Um, I really like that, so yeah, I'm gonna go for, for Gromit from Wallace and Gromit. Um, number four, if your dog was the main character in a book, what sort of book would it be? Well, I thought about this and I thought, Dolly's life mainly involves lying in front of the patio doors, which she's doing right now, um, in the sun. And then when she gets too hot, moving into a cold area. But most of the time she lies in the hot area. Um, and then going for walks where she runs around like a crazy thing. Occasionally popping out if she's hungry to come and run around like a crazy thing. So it's like nothing happens and she's asleep. And then drama. That's that Dolly's life. So I thought you're going to be looking at a book like... Something like Shogun, where it's like sleepy, boring, nothing happens, lots of things happen. Or like like a Dickens, loads of boring description. Um, well, I say it's boring, like obviously I have some respect for it, but you know what I mean. Like very slow and then things happen. Um, alternatively, something where it's very hot because she is all about the heat. She doesn't like it when the weather's cold. She gets all upset and goes and goes in her basket all day. So something like the beach, like quite slow and hot. <laughs> that would be her kind of genre. Um, number five, recommend a book that your dog would enjoy if they could read. Well, Dolly is simple to please and it would be like a local walking guide so she could go and explore particularly if it involved coastal areas she loves barking at the sea she likes to run backwards and forwards in front of the waves and bark at them um so yeah maybe beach walks some kind of guide to to local beach walks that would be right up her street she would love that book number six which book or story would benefit from the inclusion of one or more dogs i mean clearly all of them uh <laughs> i'd like to reference uh, Dane Cobain's Dane Reed's um, video about including dragons in books. Like, there's no book that wouldn't be improved by including a dragon. There's very few books that wouldn't be improved by including a dog. Maybe the only ones that wouldn't would be if they featured small animals that a dog likes to chase, and so the book would very much centre around the dog trying to attack the smaller animals, like a book about cats or something. Um, I'm, I mean, imagine something like The Hobbit. You know, you've got these guys going off on a quest, and there's a little dog that joins them. You know, what, what couldn't be improved by there just being a dog around the place? I just think, think anything, any book is my answer to that. Um, number seven, have your dog pick your next breed. Right, let me get some books and then I'll go and get the dog. So, what am I thinking of reading at the moment? Maybe that, maybe that, maybe that, maybe that. I need you to help me with something. I have some books, randomly selected books that I haven't read that are on my bookcase. So we've got Anita Shreve, Resistance. By the way, I'm reading Jaws at the moment, in case you care, but when I finish Jaws, this is what I'm gonna read. So you could have Resistance by Anita Shreve. You could have Call the Midwife by Jennifer Worth. You could have Atonement by Ian McEwan. Or you could have Wild Like Me by Louise Pentland. There's a, quite a variety here for you to pick from, okay. So, she doesn't look impressed. Right. Now, which one would you like 
You're just not looking at me. She's not pleased about the books. What's the matter? Well, when do you like? Can you give one a sniff? Good. Which one? Which one is a good book? What? <laughs> Kimmy, which one? Which book? Which book? Which is a good book? You want to give one a sniff? Which one? Which one? All of them. All of just me. <laughs> Thank you. But that's not what. Whoa! <laughs> all right, all right. Let's try this a different way. Okay. Okay. We'll put them down and we'll put a biscuit on each one and you can choose. Right, Dolly. Wait, sit, sit, wait. Okay. Wait. Which one? Call the Midwife, apparently, is her book of choice. <laughs> Followed by Atonement. And then Wild Like Me. I don't know if I'm going to read all of these, but Call the Midwife is clearly Dolly's next choice. Not a fan of Anita Shreve, no? <laughs> don't dribble on all my books. Oh, no, she's dribbled on Wild Like Me. Dolly! Uh, the last question is to tag some some people to do this. I don't know who has dogs, but if you've got a dog and you're watching this and you feel like doing it, consider yourself tagged. Leave me a comment and then I'll put you in the description if you feel like doing this. Anyway, um, me and Dolly are going to say goodbye for now. Dolly, you're going to say bye? <laughs> don't know why. She's so judgmental today. What's the matter? Hmm? What's the matter with you today? Hmm? I know, I know. Dolly says, could you please like this video? Um, subscribe if you'd like more. She promises to turn up in future videos. She's been in some in the past. Um, and uh, leave her a comment to tell her that she's a good girl. <laughs> good girl. Yeah, no. All right, yeah, thanks. Gross. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>